Hello, and welcome to another edition of YouTube Talk Show with Owen Daniels and Aquin Santos. I'm your host, Owen Daniels, and this is Quentin. Sa oh, you know what? Quentin, my best friend and assistant, is not here today. Uh, he is sick. He got the flu and... Uh, ugh, take that down! Yuck! Blech. Uh, but today, I'm kind of glad he's not here because our guest does not have to endure him. And our guest is so good. Good God. I mean, our guest today, what a privilege to have this guy on. He is... The owner of the Golden State Warriors is the CEO of Mandalay Entertainment. One of the youngest guys to run Sony. I mean, New York Times bestseller. Multiple presidents have talked about his books. I mean, this guy is so impressive that, uh, you know, there's no justice I can say to, to really tell you how great this guy is. So let's just bring him on. Our guest today, Peter Goober. Let's get right into it because you're a busy man and I, hey. uh, you'll be running out of here. Let's, um... Let's for, first first Warriors player to tweet this gets Goober's respect for life. That's, <laughs> for, for, here's something I would love to talk about. Uh, Warriors are doing great, right? We're in the we're in the playoffs. Are there? What do you mean we're in the playoffs? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you. I don't want to. I don't want to say. I don't want to say scared because the Warriors are not scared of anyone. The Warriors just go out there and fight with everything. Um, but is there a team out there that you're thinking, wow, these guys? This, this is the team that they're doing really great. We're a little nervous to face them. You know, I think that everybody you play has the capacity on any given night to beat you. Anybody mm -hmm. can do that. And one injury, one bad game, and you got some problems. And, you know, the anxiety around it is, is that you got to play, you know, three or four series, a whole bunch of games. you got to yeah. win, I think it's uh, 16 games you got to win in order to get to the, the, the golden moment. I, I'd, say, um, I'd say the Spurs. I'd say the Spurs would be scary to face. Okay, here's here's something. Uh, who's your favorite player not on the Warriors? Favorite player not in the Warriors? I have I have, I have quite a few that I really 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 think are, are great. I mean, really, I like I like Kyrie Irving. I think he's really interesting. Yeah. I love DeAndre Jordan. I think he's uh. a fantastic player. I think he's great great to watch. Um, I like Isaiah Thomas in the Celtics. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a spark plug. I mean, there are a lot of tremendous talents. And, you know, some of those talents don't have the players around them, the pieces around them to really have them be explosive and be as successful as they are. You know, you look at you look at Westbrook. He's unbelievable. Yeah. He's phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. But he doesn't have the rest of the team at a level or a cohesion, mm -hmm. being together, working together in a way that yet magnifies his success. Mm -hmm. So I think that's part of it. It's like anything. It's chemistry. But chemistry is everything. I mean, chemistry, I've been in movies all my life. Chemistry in movies. They put the right cast together. They have chemistry. Something special happens in the screen. You don't even, you just like being with them. I mean, you know. Like Soul Surfer. No, that's only got, that's only a one arm. You know, it's like you know. I was with my that was like my favorite movie. Yeah, but you, were, you were ten years old. I, mean, <laughs> I was crying. Old, what was, what was your second favorite movie? Uh, the The Carrie Diaries. I, it was a television show. But I'm a big Honest Sophia Rob fan. Big okay. Honest Sophia Rob fan. Great casting. Mwah, beautiful that that film. That film. That film. Uh, uh, you gotta stop bringing that up. Come on, it's Batman. Your best movie. Purple, Rain was, Man. It was so good. Soul Surfer is how. You scored this interview. <laughs> well, you're going to like the sequel then. The shark is back. There's a se Oh, my God. <laughs> Ask the good questions. Uh, they were good questions. You're the host. What are you saying? You've got to be the host for the most. Ask the good questions. I'm asking phenomenal questions. Okay, you are. One of the big parts to a successful movie are the actors, right? Who are the best in the NBA? For those who don't know what I mean by actors in the NBA. But, but hasn't been there tonight. He is two of nine. Clay is two of nine. by McGee at least he had contact with McGee somewhere in the lower extremity now Peter Goober is sitting courtside and Warrior Corner is the movie producer and, and the best performance in a short film I have a nominee Out of so many things you've been able to accomplish, um, you know, being able to tell a powerful, purposeful story is something you really feel can make the difference for a lot of people. Um, and can, can you maybe tell us about the power of storytelling and why, why you think it can make the difference for someone? Story is the way we relate. Story is the way we give information meaning. Story is the way we entertain. Story is the way we create value in life. If you can't tell it, you can't sell it. And if you're a talk show host, if you're a movie maker, if you're a salesperson, you got to be able to create that relationship and you make it through narrative, through telling good stories that are authentic and real 
and well-intentioned. That was a shitty answer. <laughs> <laughs> was, could have not been a better, better answer. Um, As a talk show host, you know, or I, I, I think that being able to tell stories and being able to, to really try to connect with people is very important. Um, and I was wondering if maybe I could try to test out a quick story on you, and at the end of the story, you could tell me what I did wrong and right. You mean I'll give you like five stars, four stars, three stars, three yes, stars, one star? Perfect, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, so I'm going to really try to... I was hungry, and I went to Ralph's, and I didn't get a, a cart. I got a basket, and I was checking out of Ralph's in the line, but it was taking a long time. And so I, I went to self-checkout instead, and um, I've never done self-checkout before. I, and I was fine. I was scanning everything, um, but, um, but then I had apples, and I was trying to scan the apple. You can't scan apples. You have to weigh apples, and I didn't know how to weigh it. It's a compelling yarn. Being one of the most just uh, respected, intelligent, genius uh, businessmen, I mean, in the entire world, would you invest in YouTube talk show? No. No, no, no. No, no. I'm too smart for that. <laughs>